Hey guys, howdy and hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mama Mercy. Okay, so I know that it has been a while. I think as of the day this is going up, it might have been almost a month since you guys have seen this face. Or maybe I've given you a vlog, a vlog here or there. Anyway, I've decided on a formula, which, I mean, I'll tell you in my regular videos since nobody cares about my vlogs anyway. But basically, I think I'm just going to... I might be taking, like, little hiatuses every here and there, and then just vomit content on you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But basically, today, it is Asian Heritage History Month. Which means for this month, I will only be doing books and reviews of works done by authors of Asian descent. I actually have some really juicy things lined up. Some of them I haven't even read before. So yeah, let's just get into it. Let's get started. We're starting this off with Julie Kagawa's series, The Iron Fae. Now, I think I started this maybe when I was in high school. I'll have to fact check that. But, um, I just remember loving it. I never finished it, and I don't know why, and when I started preparing for this, I saw that there was, like, a whole bunch of books. There's, like, book eight, and from what I can remember, I only made it to book two. So, actually, I don't think I've ever read, I don't think I've ever read The Iron Queen before. So, that'll be good. That'll be good for the read-along. And, oh... Disclaimer, I'm not going to read along with Iron Knight because I actually know for a fact that I have not read this. So Thursday's video will be a book review on the Iron Knight. I had every intention of correctly doing this like my other read-alongs, except I got caught up, forgot to turn the camera on. And what I'm telling you, is that I already read books one and two off camera. So you can't be with me for that, but I'm only on chapter eight for book three. So I will put that in here, we can read it together. But before we get started on that, I am, I have a few questions, like book one. Also, oh, spoiler alert, okay, there you go. By the end of book one, like, Megan is so in her feelings over Ash, which, I mean, it's dandy, like, it's a spicy romance, love that, but my question is why? Like, from what I saw, you don't know him, you met him really once, you saw him once at your house, you saw him again uh, when he tried to kill you upon your entrance into Fairy or Arcadia, and then... You actually met him at the little dinner party that your parents threw in which you danced and he ended it with I'm gonna kill you like to me I just I don't see where it came from because from that point on she was like love drunk over the dude like grandma Hien was like don't lose your heart to a winter prince and I was like how's she gonna do that she just me Maybe it's a love at first sight thing. Okay, well, that was really my question about book one. Living on a book two, I don't understand what she doesn't understand about the fact that she's not in love with Puck or like maybe I don't understand what Puck doesn't understand about it. I just, all of this pining and unrequited love, I'm not here for. And we'll get to this at the end when I'm done with it. But for now, I think those are all my musings for now. Let's get into the read along.
Okay, look. The fact that I just cried while reading about Megan's fake death, even though I knew she wasn't going to die because there's like 20 books after this, is not the point. The point is, how dare Julie Kagawa try to get me like that, okay? I am icier than ash. I don't have emotions. How dare you try to make me think that I do? The, go the audacity. That being said, look, about the Iron Queen, this took me a hot minute to read. I finished Iron King and what's the other one? Iron Daughter in like two seconds, okay? And those are books I already read. So I thought I was gonna fly past this one too. However, that was not the case. Maybe here in the book, so by chapter, oh, oh no. By chapter 14, things had really slowed down for me. Pretty much from when Megan agreed to help her father, Oberon, and Queen Mab. That's where everything really slowed down for me and didn't really pick back up until... Until they were already in the Iron Kingdom. Like, if I, when it picked up was when Razor showed up. The gremlin. Ugh, love him. Like, ugh, cute little bat thing. It just, it sounds so cute in my mind and creepy. But anyway, um, the respect that everybody had for Megan after she offed herself. My only thing, like, I understand. I understand that she wants Ash to live. I just don't know how I feel about her constantly releasing him from his promises. Like, what's up with that? But I, I, I guess I get it. I just want them to be together again. I don't really care. There better not be anything with glitch. When you see me in two days, I better not be reporting anything about glitch. Um, it just needs to be a happy reunion between the two of them. Now, the last thing I will say is part of the reason I got all of these special edition books, um, when the new covers got released is because they have excerpt, excerpts from, I guess they're not, I think they're excerpts from like novellas that are still involved. I don't know. I have to read the novellas too, but, um, they give you different perspectives and then continue the story that way, which I personally think is really cool and not something I thought about doing at all. Thought I was original. <laughs> Who's original nowadays? Anyway, not me calling myself out for something I didn't even know was happening. Also, don't worry about what's under here, okay? Mind your business. Um, I, as you can tell, I'm clearly flustered and I don't know what else to say. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed reading this with me. Piece of gold, okay? But not a chain of gold. Never forget see what I did there. I have to go. Like, I don't, I have to go. I, I need help. I have to go. Pray for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that bell notification and subscribe so that you know when I'm posting more fake content and I will see you in the next one.